in Jesus' time, the Sabbath day was Saturday, and he would have attended synagogue services on that day. In fact, the New Testament records Jesus' teaching and preaching in synagogues on the Sabbath. The synagogue was the center of Jewish worship and community during Jesus' time, and it was customary for Jewish men to attend services there on the Sabbath. In the Bible, the seventh day of the week, Saturday, is considered the Sabbath day, a day of rest and worship, and has never been changed. The Ten Commandments given to Moses in Exodus 28, 11, and Deuteronomy 5, 12, 15 specifically command to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The early Christian church, however, shifted the day of worship to Sunday, the first day of the week, to commemorate Jesus' resurrection. This change is not recorded in the Bible, but is a tradition that developed later in Christian history. The change from Saturday to Sunday as the day of worship was a decision made by humans, not authorized by Jesus or God in the Bible. In fact, the Bible says that Jesus himself observed the Sabbath and taught that the Sabbath was a day of rest and worship. The apostles and early Christians also observed the Sabbath. The shift to Sunday worship was a gradual process that occurred in the early Christian church, influenced by a combination of factors, including one resurrection of Jesus on Sunday, Two, the Apostle Paul's teachings on the Lord's Day. Three, the influence of Roman culture and the Dies Salis, Day of the Sun. However, as you pointed out, this change was not authorized by Jesus or God in the Bible, and some Christian denominations continue to observe Saturday as the Sabbath day. It's worth noting that some Christian denominations, such as Seventh-day Adventists, still observe Saturday as the Sabbath day, following the biblical commandment. <laughs> Jesus' time, the Sabbath day was Saturday, and he would have attended synagogue services on that day. In fact, the New Testament records Jesus' teaching and preaching in synagogues on the Sabbath. The shift to Sunday worship was a gradual process that occurred in the early Christian church, influenced by a combination of factors, including the resurrection of Jesus on Sunday, two, the Apostle Paul's teachings on the Lord's Day, three, the influence of Roman culture and the Dies Salis, Day of the Sun. However, as you pointed out, this change was not authorized by Jesus or God in the Bible, and some Christian denominations continue to observe Saturday as the Sabbath day. It's worth noting that some Christian denominations, such as Seventh-day Adventists, still observe Saturday as the Sabbath day, following the biblical commandment. The resurrection of Jesus on Sunday, two, the Apostle Paul's teachings on the Lord's Day, three, the influence of Roman culture and the Dies Salis, Day of the Sun. However, as you pointed out, this